Hey guys, what's up? It's um, the, um, we just got to Crete last night and we're now on our way about to start our first tour. Yeah, so the reason that there's never any like travel, like there's never any videos of us on a boat or any part of that is ever in the vlog is because on the ferries it's very rushed. Like you have to, as soon as it gets in, you have to rush on. As soon as it lands, you have to rush off and we always have a lot of bags and everything else and it's too difficult to try and get the bags and film at the same time. So that's why you never see any videos of the ferry. Well anyways, before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Yeah, like what? Last time I checked we had like 30 subscribers. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, please like, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. A nice car ride in which I slept. And we have arrived here at Knossos. Um, I think it's an ancient village or a ruin. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we get to the top. But we're going to be here for about an hour and a half and then we go somewhere else. I don't know where the somewhere else is. You know, you think I know more considering this is my vacation, but I never have any idea what we're doing any day until we do it. So yeah, we'll see. And you see my beard starting to come back. I don't look as much like a 12 year old anymore. Alright, see you guys when we get to the uh, when we get to the top. Six years ago they discovered that the south of Central Crete, during the excavations in a the cave there, they discovered some stone tools. And they have dated them and they have found out that they are older than 133,000 years. So uh, that shows that Crete was well known before that, for a long time. and uh, this, wow. these tools they are extremely important for the global history because they are the oldest proof of people sailing in the open sea. People they had to sail. Mm. So generally, and that was 133,000 years ago. At least. At least. Wow. There is a huge time gap between the two periods yeah, yeah. that needs to be examined more, but you, mainly the Cretan archaeology is relatively young, let's yeah. say. Well, in this area, according to our mythology, I was leaving mighty King Minos, who was the son of Zeus, and our mortal lady called us Europa. That's uh, where the name of our continent is coming from. Europe. Europe. Yep. And uh, at the beginning of the story, Minos, he was the king only of the central part of Crete, so the area around Knossos. But you know, he wanted to become the king of the whole island, but without starting a war among the Minoans. So he was, let's say, squeezing his mind, trying to find a peaceful solution to that problem. And one day he had that uh, brilliant idea. He just asked from the god of the seas, Poseidon, to send him an animal to sacrifice back to Poseidon. And in this way, he wanted to show to the other people on the island that he's unique, that whatever he wants, gods are sending that to him. So for everyone's benefit, he had to become the king of the whole island of Crete. God of the seas, Poseidon, sent to Minos the most beautiful bull ever. A very big, beautiful white bull. King Minos, he had to sacrifice that bull back to Poseidon, as he had promised to do. But the bull was extremely beautiful. And King Minos got, uh, got amazed by the beauty of the bull. He did not want to spoil it. That's why he sacrificed a different normal bull to Poseidon which made God Poseidon extremely angry. And in that moment, Poseidon punished Nino. The next complex building, they were, called, they were saying, okay, this is like the labyrinth of Knossos. This is like the labyrinth of Knossos. Finally, that became, this is like a labyrinth. Yeah. So it became a synonym of the word maze. Yeah, so yeah. labyrinth just means like the, um, what did you say, labyrinth? The complex, the construction with the labyrinths. So that's what it meant originally, axis. and it became a synonym with maze because yes. look at the palace, it's just like a. Of course, they like did not use this architectural plan, let's say, for uh, having the guests getting lost. Yeah. But they did that for um, to support the construction. Supposedly, the entrance to the labyrinth. Because I don't know if I said earlier, this, this palace. 
is what became known as the labyrinth because it was so elaborate and there were so many rooms that only four entrances so once you got in it was very hard to get out if you didn't know your way around they have lots of handles. Those pots could yeah, hold like 250 gallons lots worth of, of stuff. To move them around because these were heavy, even empty. Yeah. And but, they're too uh, big to be like actually the properly the made all the way in one just area, go right, on those things. So they would make the bottom smaller, stop, yeah, the wait for yeah. it to dry, and then put more clay on top, the and then more clay on top, and so on until they got to the very top. So we've been walking around, we went to the um, palace in the morning, and the museum. Now we're just walking around Crete, and I think I might have to end the vlog today here because this camera is about to die. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll pick it back up tonight. But... So yeah, we've had a pretty good day. Just chilling. I had a great time. Our guide has been awesome. It's funny, I almost forgot I was on an island until right now because now you can see the ocean over there. Also, I dropped my sunglasses in front of a car tire so that I got my sunglasses run over so I don't have sunglasses anymore. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at the hotel where I have a charger for